What is up everyone? Welcome to a brand new review. Today we're talking Life of the Party, this brand new Melissa McCarthy film. You guys knew I was so looking forward to this film because you guys know I love Melissa McCarthy. Not really. You guys know I like Spy, though. I mean, that's really the only film I've ever liked her in. And I, I think she's a pretty decent actress, too. I think St. Vincent was a really good performance with her when she was in there with Bill Murray. But overall, Life of the Party, what do you expect? It's a McCarthy comedy. You obviously see the trailers. You know what you're going to get. And it's just a very cliched unintentional not really funny at all comedy which is that you guys know my rule if i don't if a comedy doesn't make me laugh i'm not gonna like it at all and that that's the fucking truth i didn't really like this film at much the more i think about it it actually makes me more mad that i spent time going to see this film but why why am i here it's to tell you guys don't waste your money on seeing life of the party i will say though i think if you're a mom because there's this one lady in my theater just howling at this and i she was an older lady so she probably this was more demographic towards her i definitely will say like this film is not for me in any way i think if you like melissa mccarthy i think you'll probably find some enjoyment in here but even with this film the thing is is that like there is no chemistry between any of the characters there's no loving there's there's no likability to any of them except a couple of them debbie is one of the most annoying fucking characters in the whole damn movie and just Melissa McCarthy a lot of the scenes that she has laughable moments which I wish I was laughing in would just felt cringy and it just I felt bad that I was laughing at it because I shouldn't have been laughing at it and I shouldn't be laughing at that type of humor and I wasn't it was just cringy and I was like okay let's move on to the next scene let's move on to the next scene and I think a lot of the humor comes from Ben Falcone the director of this who's actually also married to Melissa McCarthy I think the guy is a very funny dude but when he shows up and he directs Melissa McCarthy in films, I can just never get on board with them. From the second this film started to the second the film ended, I think I laughed around two or three times, and that's just sad to say. I wish the film was better. I started picking it apart. The editing was bad. The story was generic, and it was cliche. You could guess the whole film. Really, there's a huge twist in this film that I will say I did not see coming. But when it happened, I said, oh, fuck me. This is the type of movie we're getting. And I will say the what that twist does if they ever do a sequel to this film i want to see it it would probably be a 10 times better film but besides that if you want to see this film you're going to go see it melissa mccarthy gives a melissa mccarthy performance everyone really does the same thing it was nice to see debbie ryan from sweet life on deck that was nice to see her actually show up in something other than a disney film and jillian jacobs i i love her she was probably my only favorite decent character in this whole film even though she really didn't do much so if you guys want to see an unintentional not really funny at all kind of comedy go see life at the party if you're a mother you might like this film if you're a daughter i don't think you'll like this film at all this film isn't for me i'm gonna forget about it by tomorrow so with all that said i'm gonna give life at the party a d minus Hey guys, that's my review for Life of the Party. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have seen this film, I'm sorry. If you guys haven't seen this film, then thank God you are a survivor. Make sure Go see Avengers or A Quiet Place. That Those films deserve way more love than this type of film is. Plus, Deadpool 2 is coming out, so you guys are going to want to check that out instead. I think the most important thing here, guys, is make sure that like and subscribe button. That way you guys can always come back. Make sure to be talking up more movies with me. And if you guys want to talk other than YouTube, make sure to go hit up all my social media links, Twitter, Stardust, and Instagram, where we can talk all geeky and kind of nerd shit over there and of course the most important thing is hit up sandwich john films down below because down below that's where you guys can get into advanced movie screens check out some other movie news and other movie reviews so until next time guys stay classy